Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to work on the countertops and the lower cabinets that will have the drawers and stuff in it. Let's get to work and see what we can get done. I wanted to show you, she didn't like the way that wall was, so we redesigned it and put studs from top to bottom down so that those, now the pipes can come straight down and over here under the sink where the water heater and the water pump will be. And then the countertop is gonna come up to here and I'm gonna make a little door where we can access the plumbing inside there where we can just put some sheetrock screws or something in to hold it. So we can access that. So that's that. It's as soon as we get the, the rest of the stuff in so we can get the plumbing out, we can go ahead and put that wall back and finish that wall completely up. Okay, it's another day and we're out here working on the counter night after we got off from work late working on the camper and here's what we've done that wall is finished up there it's completely nailed up cut an access hole to the plumbing i've got it stubbed out so that i can tie in to the sink and the water heater and the water pump and all that kind of stuff the, the countertop will sit on top of this uh two by two band that i've got up there you see but that's where it'll be and then over here I think we're gonna make this a little longer over here and the refrigerator will kind of slide under there and then we'll have shelves but we spent the last few hours of laying it out so we can get it exactly the way she wants it but there's this much done it's getting late and we need more materials so we'll be back tomorrow to get to work on it some more see you then Okay, here we are now. We've got it all laid out exactly how long these pieces need to be this far. I've got these screwed to the wall. I've got this one cut ready to go on. And it'll go right here like this because the way she wanted this counter to come over because the sink is going to sit in here. The two pieces will run together right here. And then this will come on down. I'll, I'll put more pieces on down and tie into that. And then underneath it, there be a waterfall wall on the end where it'll look like it just stops that refrigerator will go in there. There'll be another wall over here with some drawer or some drawers that we're gonna build in there. And then everything else will go under here. That's what we've got so far. Let's let's get to measuring, get to cutting, and get some more done. I'm gonna show you right here, you can see the backsplash did stop like right there somewhere. So she had to add more backsplash because we waited to see just how long our countertop was going to be. So she went all the way down through there and then up beside the window, up through there to match, to match the other. So now it comes all the way down and it'll match the countertop. It'll be perfect right with the edge of the countertop. So let's get some more done. Okay, now we pretty much have the counter framed up, the top part of the counter framed up and that's I did it. it come over here see the counter go right there and stop but there'll be a couple more cross pieces go across I've already got some of them cut and I'll have to cut one for over there but that's that's it now we're gonna get the measuring and cutting the countertop itself and see how it fits let's get to it okay we did not film cutting all the countertop because it, it was a mess because this wall is part of it's out of square straight part of it's rounded so we had to do a lot of work to get it to fit that wall going around the back right there a lot of work and then to get to fit up everywhere but finally we got it to where it fits up and you can see what we did underneath here and then we'll have some more braces across. And then I'm countersinking screws into the this part right here from the bottom up into the bottom of the countertop. They're just shy of going through, but it'll hold that countertop down. So that's the way it looks so far. And what we're gonna do is the same materials that we use for the countertop, 
we're going to use for this outside wall coming underneath there let's cut this under here what would fit under there and be flush on the edge all the way across and then it, that'll go down to the floor so let's get that in there and see what it looks like That's the way that'll be. It'll be like right, just straight up right there. Hold this part of the cabinet, the countertop. The fridge will go right here. And then there'll be another wall on the other side of there like that. And one over here, and there'll be drawers between those. And then we'll put some kind of door over there to access all that. But we'll also trim the top in too. We're gonna trim the top of it in, so. That's what we got done so far. Let's do some more measurements and cut some more. Okay, this is the look from underneath the counter. You can see where I put the bracing, the frame comes over against the wall. I'm laying on my back upside down showing it to you. Through there, and then where the two pieces of countertop come together right there. A lot of that will be cut out for the sink to go in. And what's left, I'll put pieces in there to hold those together. That's what I did. I put two inch screws, a countersunk them, and then put two inch screws in there to hold that top down. So that's that. Now here's the top side of it. Now that it's it's in, it's screwed down. There's the one side of it. You can see where it comes down. That's where it goes together. That turned out good. I'm gonna put some trim. That's the way it looks. It's like 36 inches off the floor, so our refrigerator right here will fit under there just perfect. Then we're gonna put some drawers over here. I'm gonna try to put some kind of door over there. That's where all the stuff's gonna go, like the water heater and water pump. So let's get some measuring, get some more done. Okay, right here I got it set up to cut this that's going to be part of the underneath the counter that holds the shelves up and holds a little the refrigerator in place you see i've got some one buys down there the fridge will sit on top of those the wall will go up to the edge of those right there the one that i'm cutting right now it'll go all the way up and i'll notch it on the inside of those so that is what I'm working on now. Let's get this cut and see if it'll fit in there. Okay, got that wall cut and got it in there. It looks pretty good. Okay, now we got this in here. Now we're down here, we're gonna drill holes with a butterfly bit with adjustable legs on the front of the refrigerator. We'll sit down in there and hold it in place. Plus it will have trim at the top of that pole, but you can see that's where it goes. And now the, the drawers will sit here. I'll build another wall just like that over here. And then we'll put wood in there for the drawers to slide in and off. But that'll be the drawers. That's that much done. That's one good thing about building everything out of with screws, putting it together. As many times we've got to take this thing apart and put it back together, those screws come in handy. Really makes it good for that purpose. You can always move stuff around or take something loose and cut a little bit off or something that makes it a lot easier well, let's measure some more and cut some wood and get some more done okay now i have the other wall oh, you can see that one now i've notched it all underneath on both sides it's notched in there and screwed in over there but you can see the refrigerator will go right in there those drawers will have trim between them how we're going to do it and they'll have trim at the top but that's the wall for that and then over here we'll probably fill that in with something and then it'll have a small door over there to access all the stuff we need water bottle all that stuff under there pump hot water heater so 
this has been an all weekend project just trying to make sure everything is square and level and even and matches up good doesn't really matter under there but because no one's ever going to see it but i see it i know it and it's probably petty but i, I want it to match up and look good but there it is let's do some measuring cut some more wood so what else we can get done okay got that finished up there's the countertop i've already shown that there's where the refrigerator is going to be in we got a piece of trim piece of trim that'll go right there and the refrigerator goes in there and there's the drawers made it where they'll slide out we'll have a catch to keep them from coming all the way out when we're done that's the way plus they'll have trim between each drawer they'll have a piece of trim see this gap that'll be trim in there so you can see how I did it on the inside under the cabinet then this will go all the way from right here it'll be trimmed all the way to the corner then I'll box that in and then I'll be building a door over here access door to access the water heater all the stuff that's going to be back up in there and access I have a I made access panel I can just screw right up over that hole but that's all my plumbing so I can get to it for the shower that's what we've done so far it's getting late outside so we're gonna work a little while longer and then we'll call it quits for today let's get the measuring get some more done here's a few of the pictures we took which laid the refrigerator in and the drawers in then took some photos so we could get an idea of what it looks like we're real excited it really makes us happy to get this much done okay now here she is putting the stain on the, on the countertop. That's the way the countertop will look like this match the ceiling when she gets finished with it. That's pretty good so far. We just don't know if we're going to stain this or do something else with it. I think it needs to be stained. We'll see. That's it so far. Okay. Went ahead and stained it, put another coat of stain on there, sanded it, put some more on there, and went ahead and stained this side. So if you want to leave comments on what do you think, if it looked better, the blue, or she's wanting to paint the drawers and the front of it and stuff and some of the trim and stuff gray of course the trim that'll go around the back will be blue so and she's thinking maybe this will look better the end of it would look better gray than blue if you have any comments on what you think would it look better blue or gray put in a comment we may just paint it gray but that's what we've gotten done so far and uh let's get some more done that's going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching and i want to thank everyone for watching our videos and subscribing helping this channel grow i hope you found something that will help you in your project keep moving forward